Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about testing of significance or testing of hypothesis, which comes under Unit Seven, that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. This was taken from the subject Nursing Research and Statistics, which is very useful for B.Sc. Nursing students, M.Sc. Nursing students, and Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing students, as well as students who are studying General Statistics or Bio Statistics. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Already we have posted many videos with regard to nursing research and statistics. You can watch our channel playlist which has been given in the description box, suggested in card and i card. Let's move on to the topic. Testing of hypothesis or testing of significance. What is hypothesis? As hypothesis is nothing but it is an assumption about the population parameter. So, what is hypothesis? It is nothing but it is an assumption about the population parameter. What is a parameter? A parameter is a defining characteristics of the population. A parameter is a characteristic of the population, like its a mean or variance pop either it can be population mean or population variance so the parameter must be identified before analysis then only you can do data analysis so what you are going to calculate that population parameter you have to identify it before doing an analysis example example i assume that the average weight of this class of third year bsc nursing students is 56 kg Example that I assume that the average weight of third year B.Sc. nursing students is 56 kg. Testing of hypothesis or testing of significance. So what I have told about hypothesis, hypothesis is an assumption about the population parameter. Either it can be population mean or population vari variance which is to be tested. So a hypothesis is an assumption about the population parameter that is either population mean or population variance which is to be tested. What is the procedure for testing of hypothesis or testing of significance? So I told testing of significance if they are asking or testing of hypothesis if they are asking also the answer is going to be the same. So it is based on the uh, setting up of null hypothesis and you are testing its significance. So first you are formulating a null hypothesis then you are testing its significance. So you have some basic steps in testing of hypothesis let's see what are those steps first we have to formulate the null hypothesis and research hypothesis okay first of what we have to do we have to frame a null hypothesis and we have to frame a research hypothesis then we have to take the significance alpha level so always the null hypothesis is represented by h0 or we used to tell as h0 h0 means or h0 means it is null hypothesis then h1 means research hypothesis what is the other name for research hypothesis means alternative hypothesis okay research hypothesis or alternative hypothesis is represented by h1 then the third step is you have to calculate a select a probability of error level alpha level mostly you can select any level but mostly we used to select 0.05 or 0.01 or 0.001 like that and all we used to select okay Select and compute the test statistic for statistical significance. So once you have formulated the null hypothesis, research hypothesis, then you have identified the alpha level of significance. What you have to do? You have to select and compute the test statistics. The test statistic can be either parametric test or non-parametric test. Parametric test, we have discussed so many tests in our channel itself, like a t-test, is a test, f test, and one non-parametric test like chi square test, like that and all, you will be doing it and you will be identifying the degree of freedom with that degree of freedom and the calculated result what you will be interpreting the results okay so we will see each step in detail so first step one the null hypothesis that is sir you have to formulate which is called as h0 the null hypothesis which is represented as h0 okay first what we have to do state the assumption to be tested for example in the previous example what i have told um, we are assuming that the average weight of the third year bsc nursing students is 56 kg so the average weight of third year bsc nursing students is 56 kg you are assuming so how you will be formulating the null hypothesis h0 mu mu means population mean which is equal to 56 kg okay or you can write as h0 mu is equal to 56 so, alternative hypothesis is nothing but it is just opposite to the 
null hypothesis. So null hypothesis, what you have formulated, H naught mu is equal to 56 kg. What is alternative hypothesis? So alternative hypothesis is just opposite to the null hypothesis here. The average weight of third year BSc nursing students is not equal to 56 kg. Okay, so that is your alternate hypothesis. So just write opposite to that of null hypothesis, it becomes your alternative hypothesis. So here H1 mu is not equal to 56 kg or you can write H1 mu is not equal to um, 56. So in this way you have formulated the null hypothesis and the uh, research hypothesis which is otherwise called as alternate hypothesis. So that completes your step 1. Next Moving on to step 2, set up a suitable significance level. So, significance level means the confidence with which an experimenter rejects or accepts null hypothesis depends on the significance level adopted. So, the confidence with which a researcher will be accepting or rejecting the null hypothesis depends on the confidence level. I have told the confidence level already it is represented by the symbol alpha. Okay, so level of significance is the rejection region which is outside the confidence or acceptance region. So in the middle you will be having the confidence or acceptance regions. On either sides you may have the rejection region. So let me show the diagram. Let me explain with this diagram. See here the red color shaded portion is called rejection region whereas the middle portion is called as acceptance region. So if the your critical value falls in the rejection region the, the null hypothesis is rejected. If it falls in the acceptance regions if the critical value falls in the acceptance regions you are accepting the null hypothesis. I already told the level of significance is denoted by alpha. So selecting a, a significance level mostly we used to take 5% that is a 5 divided by 100 means what percentage means you are taking it for 100. So 5 divided by 100 means 0 0.05 or 1% level of significance in practice. So mostly you are taking either 5% level of significance that is a 0 0.05 or 1% level of significance that is a 0 0.01 level of significance you used to take. So how this and all you have you are having what uh, um, like in log books you have uh, tables you have tables for Z test, T test, chi square test, F test like that and all for all the things you have table value. So you have to compare with that table value after calculating the degree of freedom at alpha level of significance if it is 5 percent means you have to see into 0 0.05 okay so what it means when we take 5 percent of level of significance it means alpha is equal to 0 0.05 then there are about 5 chances that the null hypothesis is being rejected out of 100 out of 100 95 times there is a chance for acceptance of the null hypothesis so the researcher is confident that uh, out of 100, 95 times the null hypothesis will be accepted. Only the 5% there is a chance for rejection of null hypothesis. So that we are about 95% confident that the null hypothesis is accepted. Okay, only 5% there is a chance for rejection. Next is step 3. So determine a suitable test statistic. So already in our channel itself we have discussed various parametric and non-parametric tests. You can watch our channel playlist for all these videos. Z test, chi-square test, F test, T test etc. So many tests are why everything we have posted in our channel for BSc nursing students theory part. Okay. So based on the think you have to select a particular appropriate test either you can select it's a test or you can select t test or you can select ANOVA like that or you can select chi square test like that it goes on okay so this is your step test so then what you have to calculate determine the critical value from the table so by this when you are doing the step 3 you will be getting a calculated value if you are taking z test calculated z value if you are taking t test calculated t value like that it goes on so in step 4 what you have to do you have to determine the critical value from the table okay uh, by uh, first you have to identify the degree of freedom with that degree of freedom you have to um, calculate the critical value from the table okay so after doing compute that is calculation compare the calculated value suppose a table value already you have identified at 0 0.05 level of significance then what you have to do you have to compare with the calculated value 
so what is step 6 making decision so when you are comparing you know that if the calculated value is less than the table value accept null hypothesis okay if calculated value is less than the table value accept null hypothesis if calculated value is more than the table value reject null hypothesis if calculated value for all the test are the same procedure only if calculated value sorry ma if calculated value is less than the table value accept null hypothesis if calculated value is more than the table value reject null hypothesis so this is your final step same thing only i have written if calculated value is more than the table value or critical value then it falls in the critical region so we reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis once we are rejecting null hypothesis we have to accept alternative hypothesis which is otherwise called as research hypothesis if calculated value is less than is less than the table value accept null hypothesis if it is more than the table value we have to reject null hypothesis so this is the basic rule for all types of test in testing of significance so this testing of significance can come under uh, five marks or mostly it comes under essay question also suppose if they are asking in essay question you have to answer all the things what i am going to discuss in this video next type 1 and type 2 error already i have posted a video on type 1 and type 2 error if you want detail explanation of type 1 and type 2 error you can watch that uh, from our channel playlist so when a statistical hypothesis is being tested there are four possible outcomes what are those four possible outcomes see here the hypothesis is true and we are accepting this the hypothesis is false and we are rejecting it the hypothesis is true but we are rejecting it the hypothesis is false but we are accepting it so four types of uh, outcomes you can get when you are testing a st uh, statistical hypothesis significance first thing is the hypothesis is true and you are accepting it the hypothesis is false and you are rejecting it next the hypothesis is true but you are rejecting it the hypothesis is false but you are accepting it so this third step is your type 1 error which is otherwise called as alpha error this fourth one is type 2 error okay so first two is normal ma first two if it comes there is no error but last two can lead to type 1 and type 2 error respectively obviously the last two can lead to errors type 1 error what is type 1 error rejecting a null hypothesis when it is true is called as type 1 error so hypothesis is true but you are rejecting it so rejecting a null hypothesis when it is true is called type 1 error which is represented by the symbol alpha type 2 error is accepting a null hypothesis when it is false you are accepting instead of rejecting it you are accepting it accepting a null hypothesis when it is false is called as type 2 error which is represented by the symbol beta the same thing what i have discussed has been represented in a flow chart or tabular column null hypothesis h0 is true alternate hypothesis h1 is true null hypothesis h0 is true accepting null hypothesis is right decision rejecting null hypothesis can result in type 1 error which is otherwise called as alpha error next alternate hypothesis h1 is true accepting null hypothesis here leads to wrong decision that is type 2 error which is called as beta error whereas a uh, alternative hypothesis uh, h1 is true so you are rejecting null hypothesis which is the right decision already we have posted a detailed video on type 1 and type 2 error you can watch our channel playlist or you can search type 1 and type 2 error in science easy tech channel next we will see one tail test so in one tail test you have one tail test left tail and one tail test right side okay one tail uh, test left side and one tail test right side so one tail test left tail left tail distribution or left sided distribution so here h not mu is equal to mu not h1 mu is less than mu not so that's why it is in the left side 
ओके नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट सो ह नाट नल हाइपोथेसिस म्यू इज ईक्वल टू म्यू नाट हेच वन म्यू इज लेस दैन म्यू नाट नेक्स्ट इज वन टेल टेस्ट दट इज रईट सैड टेल हियर हेच नाट म्यू इज ईक्वल टू म्यू नाट अंड हेच वन म्यू इज मोर दैन मोर दैन म्यू नाट दट इज पॉजिटिव सैड सो इट कम्स अंडर द रईट हेंड सैड सो द शेडेड पोर्शन सो द शेडेड पोर्शन इज दि थिंग ओके Next, moving on to two-tailed test. So, in two-tailed test, either the values can uh, be either in this di left direction or in the right direction. Whereas in one-tailed test, uh, left side, it, the value can be in the the critical value can be in the left uh, shaded portion, like this. The right-sided tail can be the critical value can be in this area. In two-tailed test. The critical values can be on either sides. So two tail test H not mu is equal to mu not H one mu is not equal to mu not. So is it uh, values follows normal distribution? Ah, uh? so table um, like f I have given for is it value like this? You have for T value. F test value, ANOVA, chi square, and all you have a uh, table value, standard table values. Uh, you can. Um, search in google images also or in any statistics books they have they will be giving all these tables f distribution table is a table or normal distribution table t table chi square table like that and all so i have given the basic thing for one tail test what is the z value at 0.1 level of significance 0.05 level of significance and 0.01 level of significance so critical z value for one tail test that is this is constant 1.28 or minus 1.28 1.645 or minus 1.645 in 0.05% level 05 level then 0.01 level it is 2.33 plus or minus 2.33 okay so if it is in the positive direction right sided direction in 0.1 uh, level of significance and for um, 0.01 it is 2.33 that is plus 2.33 if it is right tailed or uh, minus 2.33 if it is left tailed then critical z values for two tail tests either the value can half of the value will be in the positive direction and half of the value will be in the negative direction okay um so here um in a 0.1 level of significance it is 1.645 or minus 1.645 respectively and uh, um, 0.05 it is 1.96 or minus 1.96 0.01 it is 2.58 or minus 2.58 okay so like this you have values for uh, t test f test like that and all chi square test hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card also you can watch our channel playlist bsc nursing research and statistics for more nursing research and statistics related videos recently we have created a playlist exclusively for statistics to have statistics related videos separately also so you can watch it and you can get benefited thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel